Welcome to this first video in a series of tutorials for Vest Dynamics new flagship synthesizer sampler workstation Vaporizer 2. In this video we will give an overview of the general functions and the layout of the plugin. Vaporizer 2 supports wavetable synthesis, additive synthesis and subtractive synthesis at the same time. It also functions as a sampler workstation and all these different modes can be freely combined. There are several versions available for Windows and also Mac OS X, including standalone, VST, VST3 and an audio unit version. The standard version of Vaporizer 2 requires a CPU with AVX vector extensions. If your system is older than, let's say, from 2011, please check if it runs or if you need to install the SSE2 compatible version that we added as well. The plugin comes with a growing number of presets and free regular updates that can be downloaded on the website. And it offers a lifelong free update policy. He suggests that you subscribe to the Vast Dynamics Facebook page to get informed about the latest enhancements. See the link in the description below. So let's start the overview with the UI. The user interface supports drag and drop and is freely scalable and resizable even up to 4K and higher resolutions. You can resize the UI by clicking on the Vast Dynamics logo on the top left corner of the UI and choose the desired screen resolution that fits your screen and DAW best. Or you use the icon in the bottom right corner to freely resize the window. The user interface is organized in separate sections. On the very left is the generator section that includes four oscillators, a sample base generator and a noise generator. On the right side you find a tab strip which organizes additional sections for the wavetable editor, filters, envelopes, LFOs, effects and more. This section can be maximized for example to enlarge the wavetable editor or sample editor when needed. On the bottom you can find the keyboard area that can be used for testing purposes. This area can also be hidden by using the splitter control. On the very top you find the master section including the controls for presets, master volume, master tuning, portamento and voicing plus an AU meter. You can decide between mono legato mode or polyphonic modes with 4 or 16 voices. A separate overlay can be opened that includes drag and drop sources for parameter modulations plus the 4 custom modulation sources that can be user defined per preset. Let's briefly go through these sections and describe the standard workflow. So when you just want to browse and play presets, you will use the preset browser and use the search function. You can sort by columns or use the free text search function that basically selects according to all preset metadata. The preset file format in Vaporizer 2 is self-contained. This means that all data required for the preset, including parameters, but also envelopes, wavetables, arpeggiator and sample data is stored in a single file so that it can easily be distributed across systems. In case that you start a sound design process, you might want to start with a clean initial patch by hitting the init button. You will then move to the generator sections and start for example with oscillator A. By double clicking on the wavetable display, the wavetable editor on the right side is opened and allows to design a wavetable to be used or load an existing one from the library. The wavetable editor allows several edit modes including freehand draw modes and line and arc modes plus a large set of waveforms, wavetable effects and generation functions. Vaporizer 2 uses a wavetable file format based on up to 256 single cycle waveforms that is a de facto standard used by many other wavetable tools and synthesizers so that files can easily be exchanged. By right clicking on the wavetable display you can switch between single cycle and multi cycle display modes. 
The Wavetable Editor is a very powerful tool and is covered in a dedicated tutorial video. So let's here just start with the simple saw to single cycle waveform by clicking on the corresponding button. The oscillator section is immediately updated with the wavetable change. In the oscillator section you will decide unition, spread, tuning and also the audio routing for the oscillator. There are four separate oscillators that can run up to 25 individual oscillators for unition. Vaporizer 2 comes with an alias-free wavetable sound engine that is recognized to be low on system CPU resource usage. You can also use the sampler or noise generators below in a similar way, but this will be covered in dedicated tutorial videos. By using the tab strip in the center we can reach the filter section of Vaporizer 2 that supports more than 30 different filter models including four times oversampled low-pass filters that follow different architectures like BQuad, state variable and diode ladder filter implementations. Also including high-pass, all-pass, band-pass, notch, shelf, comp and scream filters. And all of them are supporting resonance. There's a real-time filter response display that allows to graphically monitor the currently used filters. On the next tab strip you can freely edit one of the five multi-stage envelope generators that also support loop functions. Use the context menu to add or remove control points or drag and drop points to change the envelope. You can also choose among standard envelope shapes by using the drop down. Note that each generator lets you choose the MSEG multi-state envelope generator envelope to be used as VCA envelope, allowing you to have different MSEC envelopes per oscillator. Vaporizer 2 supports 5 LFOs that can be switched to per voice mode. This means up to 80 LFOs in total per voice. The LFO supports ramps, envelopes and faces that can be set per voice or global. Of course the LFOs can be synchronized to the DAW timecode. LFOs are added to the preset by choosing them as a modulation source for a certain parameter, like for example the wavetable position of a wavetable oscillator. The next tab strip allows you to see all modulations that are defined in a preset. You can also identify modulated parameters by the highlighted range around the knob in yellow color. By using the context menu on a parameter, you can see details on the parameter and the modulation options it has. Almost all parameter knobs in Vaporizer 2 are automatable. This is indicated by the gray range around the knob. On the next tab strip you can get access to the three effect buses that are available in Vaporizer 2. Each effect bus allows to use one of the highly parameterizable effects that are available including reverb, delay, chorus, flanger, bit crushing, EQing, compressor, limiter, flanger, phaser, comp filter and more. All effect times and durations can be synced to the DAW timecode and most of the effect parameters can be used as uh, modulation destinations in the modulation matrix. By dragging the effect you can easily change the sequence of the effect in the bus. The audio routing system for all sound generators, filters and effect buses can be used to define the path the signal takes to the master out. This makes it also possible to use the effect buses in a parallel chain or in sequence. The next tab strip allows you to add step sequencers as modulation sources. This is for example helpful to create a sidechain like effect in your preset. Below you see the arpeggiator. The ARP in Vaporizer 2 allows to set up melodies, bass lines and sequences that are played with each single note. 
It supports different modes and the timecode can be synchronized or even be modulated. All functions will be covered in a dedicated separate video. On the preset tab script you can access metadata of the preset that is used when the preset is saved. You can define standard paths to your preset library, your wavetable and also sample library. These paths are used in load and save dialogues of the plugin. Vaporizer 2 comes with different UI themes that can be selected according to your preferences. In addition to the standard theme, there is the ice cube design and the blood tech design. These settings are stored and will be restored the next time you launch Vaporizer 2. So I hope you enjoyed this quick run through of the main functions of the Vaporizer 2 plugin. There will be dedicated tutorial videos for several parts on our YouTube channel. Watch out for it. So please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to the Facebook page to get informed about the latest updates. Thanks for watching.